Okay, a good plant-based breakfast to get our day started. Veronica's going to okay. take us through the process. So we've yeah. got oats in the bowl here. Yeah, so I basically put oats in the bowl and then I just generally take everything that I usually um, that usually is ripe and ready to go um, in here. So mm -hmm. because we've been shopping yesterday, everything is fairly, fairly, um, well, not completely ripe, ripe. So we just have to go with what we have. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I guess in the bigger picture, whether it's ripe or not, it's healthy stuff, isn't it? So again, this is all plant-based stuff that we've got here, guys. It's uh, no dairy, includes no dairy. So um, in a little while, you'll see that there's going to be some alternative quark going on top of the, uh, the muesli. You can use yogurts and so forth as well. But we, we, we don't indulge in dairy. So it's all soy-based products that we add exactly. into it to replace, to replace milk. We've got bananas here. We've got uh, uh, blueberries, we've got strawberries. Veronica is now cutting up an apple. That's right, yeah. Super exciting. Do you like cutting apple, Veronica? Is well, that one of the highlights of your weekend? That's pretty much the start I, I, I of my day. I, I think it is going to be for the foreseeable future on this channel. Here we are. <laughs> so I usually do it like this. I basically cut it. And so you have to be careful with your fingers if you're not used to cutting. Yeah, we don't have like finger that. muesli. Finger no. muesli isn't on the agenda. Remember, this is a plant-based uh, channel here. Exactly. And I have to be careful with the berries also because our daughter told me specifically not to use too many of her strawberries. Oh, okay. She very kindly washed and prepared them for us. Mm -hmm. And that's very sweet. And um, It's good when you have helping hands, isn't it? Yeah, that's super because every morning we basically do this. So um, we get up and we do the preparation. We take any um, fruit that is ripe and just put it in here. The kids usually really, really like that as well. And um, and then we just use what's ripe. Um, so here very nicely, she has already cut it up. That's super. That was very good preparation by her. Thank you, Georgia. I'm liking the look of this already. This is awesome, guys. When you come in from a power walk and you've been out for an hour and you're you haven't eaten since dinner time the previous day, maybe that'd be 6 p.m., say, for instance. Typically, we would have this breakfast maybe 13 hours after the last meal. So with the power walk on top as well, by the time you come to... You're ready, really ready to tuck into this, that's for sure. Grapefruit? Grapefruit is super healthy. Um, and obviously... This takes a little longer to, to, to cut, so bear with me. But generally, if, if, you, if you kind of, you know, if, it, if, if you know what you're doing, it's not too much of an effort. And I clearly don't know what I'm doing, but, you know, it's, it's surely going to work out somehow. Guys, this looks like a cholesterol buster. Look at that lot. Apple, strawberry, grapefruit, blueberries, banana. Chopped to perfection, as yeah, you can see. You like a lot of, um, of you know, nutmegs on there as well, don't you? So that's something that's Some nutmeg nice. to go on there as well gives a nice gives a nice flavour for sure. Well, nutmeg. <laughs> now, normally, guys, when I'm when, when this breakfast is being prepared, my job here would be to remove all of this uh, this stuff that's being all the off cut seems to put it into the bio trash. But I'm lucky this morning because now I've got the camera and I don't have to do the normal tedious little bits and pieces that I would do, do in and around all of this. I can, oh, right, I've just been told I have to do it afterwards. Okay. You understand where I'm coming from here, guys, don't you? <laughs> right, so obviously it's great to have fresh berries, um, but we always have um, frozen berries in the freezer to kind of supply ourselves with these very antioxidant-rich... Um, antioxidants, fruit. yep, we like antioxidants. And they just warm up. Especially old guys like me. Very fast, you know, so. Yes. Brilliant. This is coming along. I'm liking the look of this. I don't, and, and, and the great thing is, guys, uh, I feel very lucky and privileged because I get to have this breakfast virtually every morning. It's not a given. It's not a given. Look at that. 
So now we're going to um, put some nuts on there. Ah, yes. And now, obviously, if you're plant-based, you know, you, you need your sources of protein and, and healthy fats. And the added bonus as well with nuts, of course, is you've got fiber in there as well. What Veronica really skillfully does is, is, is buys the, the nuts and everything in separate bags and the raisins and the guji berries and everything in separate bags and then sets up her own nut mix. I mean, you can do uh, it, you can get the nut, the, 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 the mixed nuts uh, also, but um, what we found is that there's usually a lot of hazelnuts in there. And um, since we have um, allergies uh, in, in our family, um, also concerning um, hazelnuts, we kind of do it this way. But right. I guess you can get them the other mixed nuts also. So I guess it's a case of knowing what you're allergic to as well, isn't it? It's also, having that, that information yeah. as to, to what you're allergic to so that you can... You can make uh, adequate choices for yourself. Yes, that was a lot of raisins there. Is it? Look at look at this. Is that mine or is that yours? That's actually mine. That's yours. Look at that. Actually, is that mine there? I'm I'm, I'm low on nuts. No, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is now. This is the quark. This is the um, yes. the alternative to dairy quark. We use this one. This is made with soya. This is provermel. Yeah. So no sugar. No, no sugar added, added sugars. You know, you've got plenty of sugar there with the fruits. You really don't need any, any uh, uh, um, additional sugars there. Exactly. And this is, um, this is a bio version. It's an organic version. So you can be sure that no genetically modified soy has been used in this, which we find very important. So it's, there's all sorts of health reasons and ethical reasons, isn't there, behind your choices when it comes to... Exactly. So food, food, not just breakfast, but any, any meal in the day, yeah. really. There's always that consideration, isn't there? So what we can get away with, you know, we get in an organic um, uh, form. We always like to put a bit of vitamin C on there also. So some lemon juice. Some lemon juice. Vitamin C in there, guys. And also lemon is extremely alkalizing. So again, if you've been doing a lot of sporting activity, you're doing your power walks, you're doing your runs and you're doing your workouts, taking a little dose of lemon on your cereal like that is going to alkalize the body. The body tends to become acidic when you exercise, and this is kind of like a little antidote to it, if you like. Exactly. So, so that looks yeah, yeah. absolutely magnificent. Veronica, thank you very much. You're welcome. I said, I'm going to Enjoy. eat. I'm going to eat that. No, I will. Thank you. <laughs>